in Season 2, Chapter 44, Made in the Shade. Our friends reunite at the entrance of the maintenance pipe that leads up into the shade assembly. Move as quickly as you can while staying steady in the pipe. Uh, we are giving everybody no. a... No. No. Stability meter. Oh, and everybody give me either athletics or acrobatics. Oh, Your choice. Natural one. Oh Natural one, you go down by two. Oh my god, you guys. Bruh. 15. 15 as well. Oh, oh. Pockets, baby. You guys grab Braven. <laughs> you pull them off. They all make it out of the pipe and seal the exit behind them. Pockets gives our friends some last minute information. You'll come up in a kind of storage room closet. In one direction, the doors look very simple. That's not the way of the holding pens. The holding pens have a heavy set of iron double doors. What's in the other direction? You don't know? It's the guest quarters. If there's a guest at the Shade Assembly, they stay that way. Pockets indirectly reveals where Grimari may be and gets ready to leave our friends and go back the way he came. I promised you that I would do what I can to save her, if I even get the chance. I would give my life for hers. You, I know you've tried to tell her to move on many times. Tell her that I need her too as well. My name is Calder. C-A-L-D-E-R. Calder Rakes. She would have wanted me to introduce myself. With pockets gone, our friends look toward their future. A hallway leading to locked metal doors, leading to guards, leading to holding cells, and arriving at a chimera. I think this would be the time to use the invisibility potion, wouldn't it? An invisibility potion to open the lock, get in, maybe figure out where the chimera is specifically in the holding pens, the path. Shit, all right, yeah. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna start the okay. process of yeah. making most of this hallway and just that door silent. So you start to feed those little kind of oh, tendrils God. of the plant into the lock there. Yeah. In the yeah. lock, it's ready to go. And I'm gonna give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze very slowly. I know that we're in silence, but I'm gonna very slowly crack the door a little bit so I can try and see in. Erlen finds a large hallway. The most immediate steps force visitors through dispel magic glyphs. Beyond that are two guards off in a break room, and beyond that, a dark archway that leads down into the pens. If we're, if we're willing to give up the, our, our magical reserves right now, we just go through it. There's nothing to be done, I don't think. We don't, we don't want to waste energy on something potentially uh, nothing. Okay, great, then we're just going. We're dropping it. Uh, Dulaska. Dulaska. So I'm gonna s get ready to snap the stem off, and then for one square foot, I dab it, and then after a minute, it seals and it <laughs> gorilla glues it. And I'm gonna quietly close the door behind it. Uh, don't close it yet. I gotta put it on one side of the. Oh, the, I see. Yeah, I see. Do it on the top and then on the side as well, so it drips down. Everybody, give me stealth we, check. We gotta erase our effects, right? So about nine. Okay. As Safira steps in, the, the bow on her back just touches that gate, and it just. Did you do that? What? Let me check something. While they're talking? While they're talking, Erlen gets in position and stuns the first guard, and then the race to subduing both guards is on. Come stuff something in his mouth. A fist. <laughs> a piece of cloth or something. <laughs> and at the back of this trunk, there's like a little pipe that comes mm. out and then comes like wider, like you could yell into oh, the pipe oh, there. Okay. Then seven, he fails. Yes. He's done. <laughs> And you can see he's holding oh the little gosh. horn. Oh my god. And he kind of looks Christ. at it with his hand. Look for some way to either lock them or keep them in place, otherwise we're going to have to knock them out. These pens, you said that there were maniples and stuff? There were are. they attached to anything? They are attached to the ground in this area. Oh. The guards are placed in manacles mounted to the floor, and our friends move toward the holding pens. You guys pass through here. You got 17. You right? can look over the edge yeah. here and down. Oh, shit. Into this shit. chamber, so it spirals around. You can see the floors. End it, the voice says. End it now. It's here. You can feel it. I'm going to obscure my eyes as much as I can, just in case there's something undead in one of these. I don't want to okay. have my focus dress. Yes. The final pens aren't constructed with iron bars, but with walls of force. And behind the first wall of force is Kauzni's captured half orc cleric. You just see him seething on the other side there, and he kind of looks around. Graven, I just want to see. See what? Who else he would choose. As as Graven was doing that, Orba would like to get a little head start looking at other pens, just making sure there's no undead. Okay. So you're craning your neck as best you can, and the wall seems like it's kind of warping a little bit, and it opens up. What? That's where we're gonna end the episode. No! <laughs> Fuck you! There's other people involved here. There's you fucking- know that? What? How did- Where? I don't know! 
I gotta find out next time on Tabletop Notch.